Today, I'm gonna be playing out the career of Josh Allen, but after every season, he's gonna be switching to a new team. I mean, at this point, I think it's pretty safe to say that Josh Allen is easily a top five quarterback in the league right now. I mean, you could even argue that he's top three, but obviously at this point, you guys know the drill. In year number one, Josh Allen is on the Buffalo Bills. And I mean, since we're starting off in the 2023 season, obviously the Bills do have a pretty solid offense. So I mean, hopefully Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs can carry the Bills to the playoffs in year number one. And it looks like they did just that because the Bills are going to finish the season with a 14 and 3 record to win the division and get the number one seed. And I mean, it looks like our boy Josh Allen also ended up having an MVP caliber season with 4,600 yards for 44 touchdowns and three interceptions, which is obviously just a ridiculous season for Josh Allen. But to start off the postseason, it looks like we're going to be taking on the New York Jets in the divisional round. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I feel like Buffalo definitely has the upper hand in this game. But with that being said, the Jets do have a healthy Aaron Rodgers right now. So that's going to make this game a lot closer. And I think it goes without saying that New York does have one of the best defenses in the league. So it's going to be pretty difficult to score on them today. I'm going to see if we can get Knox open here, though. It honestly looked like we were like a yard short there. But either way, I'll take it. I'm going to switch it up a bit, though. I'm going to put in the air again. But this time, I'm going to try and go for Shakir who looks to be wide open. So just like that, the Bills are in scoring position. I don't want to get ahead of myself because, I mean, obviously, this defense is more than capable of stopping us at, like, the 10-yard line. But, I mean, as long as we don't make any big mistakes here, at the very least, we should be able to get a field goal here. I'm going to try and go for digs though that was a brick there's gonna be a flag though and that flag was apparently pass interference we did get stopped after that so i mean we need three yards for the touchdown here but i'm hoping we can get oh come on gabe please get there that's gonna be a touchdown i thought that got picked i'm not gonna lie kind of looked like the defender came down with that one but either way that is gonna give the lead to the buffalo bills first and after that it looks like this team was able to hold on for the win i mean i thought rogers was gonna keep this game pretty close but he did not throw a single touchdown today but either way i mean after taking down aaron Rodgers, we are now one win away from finally getting josh allen to the super bowl but of course it looks like we're gonna be taking on patrick mahomes and i mean i'm pretty sure we all know the history of these two in the playoffs i mean josh allen has never beat patrick mahomes in the playoffs so far so i'm really hoping we can change that today chiefs defense did force a third down after that though so i mean we only need two yards for the first but i gotta make sure that somebody's open here it looks like we're gonna have dawson knox so that is gonna keep the drive going i'm gonna go the other direction for stefan Diggs here though and hopefully this works out because i mean considering we are going up against patrick mahomes i feel like if we want to win this game we're gonna to have to score on like every drive i don't know why but i just have a funny feeling that mahomes is gonna drop something ridiculous like 40 or 50 points in this game but anyways hold on that's gonna be a dot to stefan diggs so we are in scoring position i mean i know stefan diggs was really slowing down in the second half of the season this year but either way i am still gonna miss this duo i mean diggs and allen were something special if he caught that for the touchdown though i mean i feel like that would have been absolutely ridiculous but since it didn't work out that's gonna bring up a second down we are gonna have Dawson Knox open once again, though. So, I mean, now we only need six yards for the touchdown. If Diggs is locked up, I can probably go for Gabe here. But I'm kind of betting on Stefan being open. And it looks like nobody's gonna be on him. So, that's gonna be another touchdown from Stefan Diggs. And that touchdown right there is gonna give the Bills an early 7-0 lead. Which, honestly, probably is not gonna last very long. And no surprise, I mean, that lead did not last very long. This was a much more defensive game than i was expecting it to be but either way mahomes is gonna take down allen in the playoffs once again so i mean obviously that is a very disappointing way for josh allen to end off this season and to make things even worse we got robbed by dak for mvp but after beating us surprisingly enough it looks like the chiefs went on to lose to dallas in the super bowl but that's gonna bring us to year number two and this season it looks like josh allen ended up signing with the indian Indianapolis Colts. 
And I mean, looking at this offense right now, Allen actually has a pretty solid team to work with. And I mean, obviously, Josh Allen should take this team to the next level. So I'm hoping the Colts can make the playoffs. And it looks like Josh Allen was able to lead the Colts to the playoffs with a 13 and 4 record. But it looks like the Jags are going to win the division. And we play the Dolphins in the wild card round. But it looks like Josh Allen had another very solid season. I mean, it wasn't as good as last year, but he did have 4,100 yards for 33 touchdowns and nine interceptions but it looks like the Colts are gonna go on to absolutely annihilate the Dolphins so now we have to play Patrick Mahomes again and I mean obviously last season the Chiefs did get the best of us but this season they might be even tougher to go up against I mean they're 15 and 2 and obviously now we're playing an arrowhead we are in the third quarter right now though in case you haven't noticed and we are tied up at 14 right now so I mean it seems like the Colts have been putting up a pretty solid fight in this game that's gonna be a f hold on please get the ball back that is gonna be a terrible way to end off the drive i mean i actually can't believe that just happened man we basically just fed points to patrick mahomes i mean he started with the ball at the 30 yard line so he's basically guaranteed to score at that point i'm just hoping we can actually tie the game up on this drive though i mean we're about to hit the fourth quarter so if we don't score here and we give the ball up again it is gonna be very tough for this team to come back i want to jinx it but i mean right now it seems like this drive is going a lot smoother than the last drive i'm gonna try and go back for Pittman here though and it looks like he's gonna bring that one in so after that we're kind of set up man i mean now we only need five yards and we're in for the touchdown i should probably keep it on the ground here but i'm gonna try and go back for Pittman. oh that's gonna work out come on give me that okay we're gonna get a touchdown either way i mean when i saw Pittman was locked up i honestly thought it was over but we're gonna find waller a few moments later and after that we ended up forcing overtime and surprisingly enough we actually beat patrick mahomes which i didn't think was gonna happen today but i'm definitely happy with that so that's gonna send josh allen back to the afc championship game i mean every time i see that i have to play patrick mahomes i kind of just assume that it's over i mean i know i should have more faith in josh allen but either way in the afc championship game we're gonna be taking on lamar jackson and the ravens and i mean it looks like baltimore has already gotten off to a hot start because we are down by 10 in the second quarter right now so i feel like this is a drive that we kind of need to score on here i've been having to rush like all my passes off so far though because i mean this defense has just been blowing past the o-line today it looks like we're gonna get some open field with jonathan taylor though so that's gonna be a huge play i mean i'm gonna hand it off to him again there i did not think he was gonna get that much yardage but i mean it just seems like he keeps going even after he was getting hit i mean that's another solid run from him right there too i'm gonna put it in the air this time though just because we only need two yards for the first down. So I want to try and get a big play. And we are going to throw an interception that honestly might be a killer at this point. Because we really needed to score there. And apparently that interception really isn't going to play much of a factor at all. Because we are going to be getting absolutely torched by Lamar Jackson. I mean, that loss was kind of embarrassing. But to end off year number two, it looks like MVP is going to be going to Joe Burrow. And after beating us, it looks like Lamar finally went on to get a ring with the win against the Rams. But after getting beat out of the postseason, one game shy of the Super Bowl for the second season in a row. In year number three, it looks like Josh Allen ended up signing with the Detroit Lions and I mean looking at how stacked this roster is right now it's pretty clear to me that this is probably going to be the best shot that we get and it looks like Allen and the Lions wasted no time because they're going to go 15 and 2 to win the division and get the number one seed but even though this is the best team that Josh Allen has been on so far it looks like he had a pretty underwhelming season for him at least I mean he only had 3,700 yards for 27 touchdowns and two interceptions but we're gonna be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the divisional round and I mean it looks like Tampa did not stand a chance in this game so now we play the 49ers for a trip to the Super Bowl and I mean obviously last time the 49ers did get the best of the Lions in the NFC Championship game but hopefully this time is different because obviously now we have Josh Allen and I'm not sure how big of a factor this is actually gonna play but we also have home team advantage in this game so hopefully that helps out a little bit 
That's going to be a huge play. Laporta is going to be wide open. So just like that, we're in scoring position. I can tell you right now, bro, this is by far the most fun team that we have used all day. I mean, this offense is just absolutely loaded. And it looks like Gibbs is going to escape. So that's going to be another first. I'm going to try and end it off right here with Laporta, though. I mean, if he's locked up, I feel like we actually could also have St. Brown open. But that's going to work out for a touchdown. That was a dot from Allen, man. So Laporta is going to get in the end zone first, which is going to give an early lead to the Detroit Lions. And no surprise, this was a very, very close game. But it looks like Josh Allen is finally going to get a win in a championship game. So that's going to send him to his first Super Bowl appearance. But to end off the season for the second year in a row, it looks like Joe Shiesty is going to be winning MVP. And I mean, of course, things are not going to be easy for this team because we are playing Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. And once again, it looks like Mahomes has gotten off to another fast start against Josh Allen. I mean, we're down by two scores right now now but hopefully we can change that here i mean gibbs is gonna explode for another huge pickup so that's gonna put it all the way at the 26 i mean i feel like gibbs has honestly been our postseason mvp up to this point man because every time you give the ball to this guy it seems like he goes off for a crazy pickup we're gonna have saint brown open here though but it looks like after that the chiefs did force a fourth down which i probably should just go for the field goal but since we are down by 14 right now I feel like I kind of have to go for it because this is the Super Bowl. And I mean, obviously, there's no second chances in this game. This could honestly be the only time that we make it this far. So I got to make sure we make the most out of this opportunity. And is that in? Somehow he kept the feet in. That's going to be a touchdown from Williams. I mean, he barely stayed in there. I thought that was going to be out, but that was a pretty crazy grab. So that's going to cut Mahomes lead back down to seven. But once again, for the third time today, Mahomes is going to be taking down Josh Allen in the playoffs. And this time it stings a little bit more. Because, I mean, this could honestly be the only time that Josh Allen makes it this far. I mean, at this point, it's basically just impossible to beat Patrick Mahomes. Because once again, him and the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be hoisting another Lombardi trophy. But that's going to bring us to year number four, which is going to be the final season of this video. And to end things off, it looks like Allen is going to be signing with the New York Jets. And I mean, obviously, this team is nowhere near as good as the Lions were, but I feel like we still have a pretty solid chance to have a deep playoff run. And with Josh Allen, that quarterback, it looks like the Jets actually had a pretty solid season going 11 and six to win the division. And we play the Colts in the wild card round. And I mean, it looks like our boy Josh Allen had another pretty solid season with 3,700 yards for 25 touchdowns and only two interceptions. So, I mean, obviously it seems like Allen has been less of a gunslinger lately, but he is throwing less interceptions, which I mean, that kind of makes up for less touchdowns and less yardage, I guess. But I mean, he hasn't really been putting up MVP numbers. So I don't think he's going to be getting that this season. I'm going to try and go for Wilson here, though. Actually, we're going to have Dobbs wide open, and that is barely going to be a first. Not too sure how he even kept the feet in bounds there, but I'll take it. I'm going to try and go back for him again here, though, unless Wilson's wide open. And it looks like that is going to be the case. He dropped it. I thought we had that. I mean, he had it in his hands, man, but it just got knocked out by the defense. So they kind of clutched up there. I'm just going to try and go back for Romeo Dobbs. Actually, we're going to have... Hall wide open and it looks like that's gonna be a pretty huge pickup too on the downside though i mean after that it looks like the colts were able to force a third down so i mean hopefully we can get wilson open here for the first that's gonna be close but it's gonna work out so the drive's still alive allen got smoked when he let go of the ball there too so i mean if we were like a second late there that would have been a sack i'm gonna try and finish it off right here though with dobbs and he is gonna be wide open so it looks like that's gonna go for a touchdown I mean, i thought wilson was gonna be our best target but so far today it has been romeo dobbs so the jets are gonna tie things up at seven and after all of that this game did end end up going to overtime but it looks like josh allen is gonna lead the jets to a one point win so i mean it was a long time coming but the jets are finally gonna get another playoff win and obviously that dub right there sends the jets to the divisional round and as you can see we're gonna be taking on the jacksonville jaguars so i mean if josh allen can get the job done here that is gonna be four seasons in a row of this guy being in uh, being in a championship game and it looks like we're gonna have wilson open for a first down things are 
we're obviously looking really bad right now though i mean we're down 28 to 3 in the third quarter so i mean if we want to somehow come back here i feel like we need to do everything right from here on out and that starts with scoring a touchdown on this drive so hopefully that can happen soon because we got to keep as much time on the clock as we can here that's gonna be a huge play come on get that that was a dot right to wilson so seven yards to go and we're in for the touchdown i'm just gonna try and finish it off with romeo dobbs here who has been absolutely insane in the postseason so far and it looks like we're two yards shy so i'm just gonna try and go for wilson and hopefully he can end things off right here i mean it looks like he is gonna come down with it so that is gonna be a touchdown which does cut into the jaguars lead but with that being said i mean obviously we're still getting destroyed right now and after that i mean it looks like the jags did not slow down at all so that's gonna be another pretty tough loss to end things off even though we weren't able to get a ring though i wouldn't say this was a total bust because Allen did make it to three championship games and one super bowl but to end things off mvp is gonna be going to brian hartley i i don't know i really don't and it looks like the eagles are gonna go on to beat the ravens in the super bowl that's gonna do it for this one if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it'll really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out